Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. Hi Cancer, how are you doing? I am just doing readings for the fun of it. I'm going to start shuffling now. These readings have been very interesting, just to say the least, so you may want to buckle up. No, just kidding. <laughs> This may or may not be your story, okay? Uh, these are channeled stories, right? This is the original art of storytelling. So, be entertained. If necessary, you know, you may or may not find a nugget of truth in these readings. But you can enjoy them nonetheless, right? I don't know. I enjoy readings. I am a very uh, big fan of storytelling in the tarot community. I love it. Uh, channel those stories. Keep channeling them. They are coming from a real place. Alright. Okay. I am going to start laying out cards. Okay, so we have Knight of Wands, Cancer. Um, I want to say that because I'm seeing the it looks like a moon. I mean, it could be the sun, right? Because it's just a, a sphere, but this next full moon is probably going to be very significant for you, Cancer. Alright? It's almost if you guys are going to get a boost in your um, self-esteem, your self-confidence, okay? This could be in the workplace, because we have three of pentacles here. So, um, you may have an opportunity to collaborate with some people that you really want to collaborate with. This is pretty straightforward so far, okay? I haven't really done much channeling. Ten of Cups. And the reason why you want to go after, the, after this opportunity cancer is because this is what you're looking for. You're looking for happy family, happy life. Alright? You know, stable home, room to roam. I don't, I don't know. I'm rhyming, so it must be relevant. No shit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, the final card is kind of weird to me. I mean, Eight of Cups, this guy's like traveling away from these cups. Maybe this is something that you must leave behind in order to obtain your Ten of Cups, okay? Like, this is where your journey will lead you, is away from any emotions or beliefs or whatever that you are holding on to, hurt feelings, you know, that you need to let go of. And... Jeez, this is like the shortest reading I've done to date, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, you never ever have to hold on to any emotions that hurt you. Um, you can let those go. Alright, Cancer. As always, I'm wishing you the very best. I love you. Bye!